Sexual harassment is something that disproportionately affects women in all walks of life, whether it be in the form of catcalls while walking down the street or unwanted advances in the workplace. The problem is much bigger than we think it is. Did you know that a 2011 sample survey conducted by the Sri Lankan Medical Association revealed that out of 1,344 female free trade workers, 57% face sexual harassment. A sample survey conducted by the same revealed that out of 321 female industrial workers, 62.3% had experienced some form of unwanted sexual advance. A questionnaire administered by the ILO in 2016 among 500 women who majority were unemployed discovered that three-fifths of women would be willing to work if they were assured that they would not be vulnerable to sexual harassment in the workplace. How are women in Sri Lanka protected from sexual harassment? Sexual harassment in the workplace is defined under the penal code to be words or actions used by a person in authority. Like most legal proceedings, the existence of statutory protections doesn't serve their purpose. Criminal proceedings require the victim to report sexual harassment to the police through complaints, which is followed by lengthy court proceedings. It's safe to assume that a system like this causes cases of harassment to go unreported. The private sector versus the public sector. Workers in the public sector have several avenues of redress when experiencing sexual harassment in the workplace. The courts have attempted to combat sexual harassment in the public sector in limited circumstances. The Ministry of Women and Child Affairs issued and executed an internal circular enabling workers to file complaints when faced with sexual harassment. This mechanism was also relayed to other ministries. The private sector, however, seems to be more promising. To bypass the barriers to justice in criminal law, victims can resort to the Industrial Disputes Act under civil law. Unfortunately, the scope of this act is limited to the private sector. It has mechanisms for swifter resolution of disputes in the workplace without the need to involve the slow and arduous police and court proceedings where the work disputes can be interpreted broadly to include sexual harassment. The way forward. In good news, a proposal submitted by the Ministry of Justice to prepare a bill to include articles in the Penal Code criminalizing sexual assault and all forms of sexual harassment has been approved by the Cabinet. Employers could also set up a policy and transparent mechanisms for reporting sexual harassment in the workplace to be dealt with internally. There also exist a number of statutes which govern employee rights which could also include laws on sexual harassment in order to increase the accountability of employers where there is a case of sexual harassment in the workplace. Thank you for tuning in for today's explainer. If you would like more content like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms.